Welcome to our <coughs> YouTube channel Learning English with Hassan. Hi everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome back. In this lesson, you'll learn the pronunciation and meaning of 10 words and 10 sentences and maybe more. All the words we are going to study today start with the letter A. Let's see. Let's go to the first word. The first word is an. 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 A-N. So, an in grammar is called indefinite article. We use it with nouns that start with a vowel. For example, apple. We don't say a apple. We say an apple. An apple. Let's see the example. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So this is a proverb. So a sentence that has a special meaning. So if you eat an apple a day, it keeps you healthy. So you are not going to see the doctor if you eat healthy food. Let's go to the second example. Ancient, ancient, ancient. So ancient means very, very old. Let's see the example. Ancient wisdom echoes through the ages. Ancient wisdom echoes through the ages. Ancient wisdom echoes through the ages. So ancient, very old. Wisdom is the experience of the people who have lived many years. Echoes is through the ages, along the ages, and yeah, many years. The ages, it means many years. So ancient wisdom or knowledge echoes is through the ages. Let's go to the next example. As I said before, if you don't understand any meaning of any sentence, so you need to explain, to use your dictionary, to look up the words in your dictionary, and to try to understand the meaning of every sentence I have in this lesson. Because here I try to explain in general the meaning of sentences, but you need to make an effort to understand the sentence. And, and, and. So it's in grammar, it's called conjunction. Conjunction is a word that helps us connect or coordinate or join two sentences or two words or two phrases. Let's see the example. I know you and I trust you. I know you and I trust you. I know you and I trust you. So I know you, I know your name, your country, your family, and I trust you. I uh, don't have any problem to believe whatever you say to me. So the next example is in the negative form. I don't know you and I don't trust you. I don't know you and I don't trust you. I don't know you and I don't trust you. So why I gave in this slide two examples? Because you use and when we have positive positive or negative negative. We cannot use negative and, and positive. For example, I don't know you and I trust you and it's not correct. So we use but. I don't know you, but I trust you. But when we have positive, positive or negative, negative, we use and. 
So I don't know you. I don't know your name, your country, your family, and I don't trust you. I can't believe whatever you say to me. So I know you and I trust you. I don't know you and I don't trust you. Let's go to the next example. The next example is angry, angry, angry. The example. You're always angry. So some people, they are always shouting, shouting, shouting. So these people are angry people. You're always angry. You're always angry. Let's go to the next example. Angrily, the adverb, the adjective angry, the adverb angrily. So in uh, an angry way, angrily. Let's see the example. Emma left the meeting angrily. Emma, so there is a full stop miss, uh, missing at the end of this sentence, so put full stop. Emma left the meeting angrily. Emma left the meeting angrily. So Emma uh, went out of the meeting angrily. Uh, she wasn't happy because of something happened in the meeting. So Emma left the meeting angrily. Let's continue. Animal. 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 So the dog is an animal. The cat is an animal. Let's see examples. The lamb is a cute animal. The lamb is a cute animal. The lamb is a cute animal. So as you notice, we didn't pronounce or I, I didn't pronounce B. So when we have M and after it B, B is silent. The lamb is a cute animal. The lamb is a cute animal. The lamb is the baby of the sheep or the, uh, the sheep. So the lamb is a cute animal. Let's go to the next example. Animals, animals, animals. Let's see the example. If you want to see animals, go to the zoo. If you want to see animals, go to the zoo. If you want to see animals, go to the zoo. So it's very simple. So the zoo is where we keep animals. We protect them and we give them food there. If you want to see animals, go to the zoo. Let's go to the next example. Answer. 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 So we have a question and we have the answer. You didn't give me 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 the answer. I'm still waiting for your answer. Until now, you didn't give me the answer. So I asked you a question, but you didn't answer me. So you didn't give me the answer. Let's go to the next example. Answers. 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 An example. All your answers are correct. All your answers are correct. All your answers are correct. It means that you answered all the questions correctly. You didn't have any mistakes or wrong answers or incorrect answers. All your answers are correct. Let's go to the next example. Answer. Answer. Answer as a verb. Let's see the example. Answer the questions fully. Answer the questions fully. Answer the questions fully. It means don't give me a short answer. So give me a full answer. Answer the questions fully. That's the end of today's lesson. Many thanks go to Pixabay because all the pictures I use in my videos are from taken from Pixabay and also many thanks to Canva. Thanks for watching. See you soon.